Good morning. Today we're going to start working on a pergola. My name is Jeff Gould. First thing you do when you get an early start on a Saturday is to take your shower. Okay. It's important when you have a job to have good labor. Labor should be just the right height and just the right cost. How much are you being paid for this, Madeline? $10 an hour. No, no, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think we talked about the actual wage. No, I think you I'm get doing it for free. Oh, free. Very good. Thanks, kiddo. What you're seeing is the back part of my house. If you look at pergolas carefully, you'll see that they must tie into adjacent structures. That means that the base of the pergola will have to be about that high. The roof will have to be about even with the eave of the house, and that is uh, 12 feet or so. So, now we know how big the base pillar has to be and how tall the roof of the pergola has to be. Now let's look at our materials. So, this is the material I'm going to be using. It's from a barn that fell down at my uh, wife's folks' house, so uh, we thought that'd be a nice piece of nostalgia, plus you can't beat the price. Uh, the beams we have are at different sizes. These are 8 by 8 and I have a few of those, just two of them. Sadly, they will only give me 7 feet tall beams. So I think that's going to still work for my pergola. We'll have to see. We have some stretchers that are 4 by 6 and then we have these bracer beams that will be 4 by 4. The trick on this is going to be how can we use these old beams and then tie in some new lumber so it doesn't uh, look strange or mismatched. And I'll show you how that works as we go. Okay, just to show you how the pillars will look, it's important to have a right kind of mass and scale. And you can't really... Um, the best way to do it is to look around and see what else you like in other people's homes and also to draw it out to scale on a piece of paper. So here's the rough plan that I was talking about. I sat down with a piece of paper and a pen and kind of roughed out the way it would look. Uh, I put in a chimney and some chairs to get some scale to it. It's roughly 13 feet wide, 11 feet tall, and 12 feet deep, so a cube. I've put some features along the edge to show where it would tie into the house architecture. And then here is the overall look. Here you see where I've got the pavers set in place, and here's where the lattice work is going to fit inside, one foot squares. And that is basically the way it's going to look. The question is, does that look visually pleasing? What I decided was that uh, the pillars that support the, the, the beams from the barn need to be of a certain width, but not too wide. So I decided that I would use uh, these blocks here. and then build them up like so. About four feet high, and then put the beam on top of that. 